Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Central Park NYC. Every city needs an escape like this somewhere to get lost in the trees, and have the ability to climb an outcrop of rocks. Overall a 55 because it's very kid-friendly, very clean, and just a great place to visit in New York City. It was a little bit hard to navigate, but you can always find a sign, or someone who is willing to help. There are castles, statues, ponds, dance classes, city views, a carnival, a nature reserve, and the list goes on, and on of all the things that make this park so magical. You have to go a few blocks once you exit, but once you are there the zoo is nice, and watching the turtles swim in the lake was a highlight. Best place in the city to get away from it all, and unwind by the water. Enjoy a nice picnic, or go for a run. There is fun for everyone at the park. There are many things to do like a playground, you can go to the lake, and there are lots of events there. Lots of street performers buskers offer entertainment, but the park itself is enough of a show, and needs nothing else to recommend it. The architecture of the bridges, and tunnels is amazing, there are plenty of unique points of interest, and you even have a zoo if that is what you are interested in. Central Park is such a beautiful, vast open space where you can enjoy ice skating, take a horse, and carriage ride. See various independent acts performing their specialties, or just stroll along the paved pathways. Bike riding around Central Park is wonderful. Nice green place to escape to if the hustle and bustle of the city becomes too much to handle. A lot of activities to do like a romantic rowboat past Bethesda Fountain, driving miniature sailboats in conservatory waters, and a trip to Central Park Zoo. From hidden waterfalls to lakes that are teeming with local wildlife, Central Park is a necessary oasis to the ongoing stresses of city life. There are many events on the Great Lawn, numerous routes for runners, walkers, and cyclists, live Shakespeare performances, horse and buggy rides, and everything in between. It's funny to think about the smell of fresh-cut grass in the midst of a rigid cityscape known for its magnificent spires of glass and steel, dominating its skyline, concrete, and asphalt sprawling beneath the feet of its busy denizens. Paris is close, and unique, but nothing beats NY for diversity, and the great feeling of being in such a huge city that feels like a million little towns really close together. Although it is crowded especially during tourist season, it is a nice place to take a stroll with some friends, family, or partner. The rocks are pretty attractive to climb, Terry's always a show, dance show, music concert, you never know what you're going to find. The park itself is great. Kinda annoying that everyone is trying to sell you a carriage ride, but hey what can you do? Great place to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Lovely to see so many people walking dogs, jogging, or just taking a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. Central Park is an awesome place to go for a stroll, a run, or just to lay out in the sun. It is really big so you can definitely get lost there. Sheep's Meadow is a pretty popular place to meet up with friends. Don't forget to bring a blanket to sit on one of the green areas, and enjoy the views, or even a good book. This is truly 5-5 five, five star experience, park of all parks, huge. So many things to do, and see. Carousel from 1908 is amazing, vendors are great, pricey, but convenient. Amazing, and wonderful park, so many things to do here, and you come across some great musicians, dance groups, and performers. A lovely place to just stroll down or other outdoor activities biking, running, having a picnic, or just sit, and read a book, or listen to live performances, or better do people watching. The Central Park Conservancy is uniquely qualified to prevent future declines, and ensure the park's care for current, and future generations. Classic huge park, so much to love. Go during the day, or take a friend at night. It's big, and while generally safe still a good place to be careful in the dark. Look for places with shade in this summer, and drink plenty of water. Try early hours when it is less crowded, and heat is bearable. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is also there on the east side of the park, a huge museum with great pieces of art, a must-go in the city. An activity I recommend is taking a bike, and ride the whole park is a really nice experience, and it will take you about one hour. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.